I really believe that, that we will succeed on, on Friday. What we need to do is, and that is also the purpose of the Moonshot Pact, we need to, to remove the ANC and the EFF, even if they combine from government on all levels. That's what we need to do. And Friday is the first opportunity to do so. The, the ANC and the EFF will do anything possible, legally or illegally, to try and frustrate and to make it impossible to govern. So it's quite clear that the ANC is not voluntarily just going to let go of political power, not in Johannesburg or anybody else, but... There's no, there's no alternative. Either we do that or we just uh, turn over, collapse and die. And that is not an option. Well, I'm Linda van Tolberg for Biz News. And with me, I have Cornet Mulder, the Chief Whip and Member of Parliament of Freedom Front Plus. Cornet, welcome to Biz News. Thank you very much. Good afternoon and thank you for the opportunity. Well, there's chaos in Johannesburg City Council and we still don't have a mayor again and there's been such a change and such turmoil and shenanigans going on there. What is the Freedom Front Plus's view on everything that's been happening? Absolutely. Um, it's it's actually a tragedy. The reality is that the electorate gave us a certain uh, outcome in the elections of November 2021 and specifically in the city of Johannesburg, the electorate decided that no party should have a majority on their own. So the moment when that happens, it forces us to form coalitions, to come together and to govern in a coalition. And I know that there's a perception out there that coalitions are unstable and that maybe it's not a good idea. But in actual fact, coalitions, I believe, would be the best form of government because no single party then can just go on their own tangent and do whatever they like. They are forced to cooperate with other parties in a coalition. And then you need to set up the coalition in such a way that it is stable, that it can deliver to the citizens of the city of Johannesburg. So at the moment, we've gone through a difficult period. We we did start off with a, a rather stable coalition that collapsed, unfortunately. And then the ANC EFF came together and they formed a government. At the moment, there's no mayor, as you correctly point out. Yesterday, we were supposed to elect a new mayor, but there was no uh, possibility to do that because the speaker adjourned the meeting uh, before any decisions could be taken. So um, what is going on behind the scenes? Are you trying to get some deal on your side of the table, which is obviously not ANC EFF, which is yes, absolutely. what John Stenhausen calls the moonshot pact? Yes, ab absolutely. Now, we, we believe that um, the election of 2024 in South Africa on national level, that's about a year, ago, uh, a year from now. But the reality is that that fight is already being fought now in the metros of Gauteng. And I believe what is going to happen in the metros is, and I have it's, it's a precursor of what we may expect to happen next year in the provinces and in Gauteng, but also on a national level. So there's a huge struggle at the moment between the different parties happening in Gauteng. I, we are busy at the moment trying to put together a coalition of the good people, if I may put it that way, the good guys or the good parties or those that should be part of the Moonshot Pact. And uh, the, the numbers indicate, and that's just the reality in, in, in Johannesburg, that the political party called the Patriotic Alliance, they've got eight votes in, in council. The total number of council is 270. There's currently one vacancy, so we're talking about 269 that can vote. The majority is 135. And if you add up the two, let's say, blocks in the council, neither of them can govern on their own. You need the support of the eight votes from the Patriotic Alliance. But that's one of the factors that we need to take into consideration. And at, at the pro at the moment, we are negotiating because a new date has been set for the next meeting, and that is on Friday morning, 10 o'clock, when there will be another attempt to elect a mayor, and, and we are trying to get to be successful in that one. So the good people, as you call them, are they going to govern? I believe so. I really believe that, that we will succeed on, on Friday. Um, what we need to do is, and that is also the purpose of the Moonshot Pact, we need to, to remove the ANC and the EFF, even if they combine from government on all levels. That's what we need to do. And we, it starts off on local government. We need to start with doing that in Johannesburg. And Friday is the first opportunity to do so. I believe that we can find a way and a path forward to, to have such a successful government uh, being put together in Johannesburg. It should start off on Friday by electing a mayor. Then that mayor will appoint and negotiate a agreed mayoral committee. And we will also know what we will do in terms of chairpersons for the different committees to be elected, and then we can start governing. The challenge is huge. For example, also in, in, in the city, uh, in the province of Gauteng, in the city of Tuane, the coalition currently do have a majority. 
but we find it very difficult to govern because although we've got a slim majority, the ANC and the EFF will do anything possible, legally or illegally, to try and frustrate and to make it impossible to govern. So it's quite clear that the ANC is not voluntarily just going to let go of political power, not in Johannesburg or anybody else, but there's no, there's no alternative. Either we do that or we just uh, turn over a collapse and die, and that is not an option. But judging from what happened in Johannesburg, there seems to be crack, cracks in this ANC, um, I don't know if you call it an alliance, but ANC, EFF, yes. but because the ANC corpus yes. went another way. Ab- absolutely. There's, there, there are huge cracks in, the, in that kind of alliance, and there's also huge cracks in, within the ANC itself. There's a difference of approach to these things between the ANC in Gauteng and the ANC on national level. In Gauteng, you've got the premier from the ANC, Mr. Lesufi, and he doesn't mind to, 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 to form deals with the EFF. He's quite happy to do so. But that is not what the ANC on national level has got in mind. The ANC on national level doesn't want to have any agreement with the EFF because it's the same EFF that humiliates the president and attacks the president on a daily basis in parliament. So the deal between the ANC and the EFF in, in Gauteng is the following. The EFF wants to be in charge of the metro of Ekuruleni, and in return, they will allow the ANC to be in charge of the city of Johannesburg. In order to achieve that, they've got both to support the different candidates. The ANC needs to support the EFF in Ekuruleni, and the EFF needs to support the ANC in Johannesburg. In the province, they are prepared to do that, but they have been prevented to do that from national. So what they now do is to get the coalition, the multi-party coalition out of government, they need to agree on a surrogate kind of mayor. And that's why they install these small uh, one-party, member-party people as the mayor. They did that in, in, in Johannesburg with a gentleman from Al Jama. They did that for a short while in, in Tswane with Cope. Uh, I think they've got somebody from the AIC in Ikuruleni because they can't vote for each other. And the problem is the EFF will not support the ANC unless the ANC supports them in Ikuruleni, which the ANC won't do. So it's a bit of a stalemate. And at the moment, there's pressure on the ANC in Johannesburg to not do this again, but to nominate an ANC candidate. They know if they do that, the EFF won't support that candidate and there's no path to success and to victory. So they've got their own stalemate. And we also saw in, in, in the, uh, the past two months, if the ANC grouping do have the numbers, then they force the process to vote. But if they don't have the numbers, then they start to to, uh, destruct the process or they obstruct the process or they call for caucus meetings like happened yesterday. And then in the end, the meeting is just adjourned without any decision taken. So now the meeting is set for Friday. We hope to go there with a clear majority, force a vote, elect a mayor and get on with it. Yeah, but Herman Mashaba said last night that he thinks the DA is not serious about the removal of the ANC EFF, the fact that they insist on their own mayor. They do not want the um, mayor Mashaba's choice. Yes, I, I understand what the Mashaba what was Mashaba is saying in that regard, and that is a logical deduction to make if one looks at the developments of the last fourteen days, because the reality is simply that the DA has got seventy-one councillors in the city of Johannesburg out of a total of two seventy. There's no way that the DA can, on their own, get their mayor elected. That's some just hmm. not possible. Seventy-one votes. So they will need the cooperation and assistance of the other political parties that were part of the coalition in the past. And even then, we still only have 130. We still need some more votes. And that is where the Patriotic Alliance comes in. So Mr. Mashalba is correct if he says it seems that the DA is not serious if the position is that the DA only nominates their own candidate and don't care what happens because then it's just a a, a technical show and it, it means nothing. But since last night's collapse of the council meeting until Friday, I can assure you that there are attempts to rectify that kind of approach and to get all the parties around the table to see if there's a pathway to success and a way forward. And I'm always an optimist. I think we we will succeed. Let's hope. So who do you think is going to be mayor? If if it is your group, would it be Ngobengi or Latsa? Yes, yes. Well, the practice that played out in the past is that if you form a coalition grouping, then normally the position of mayor goes to the party that is the largest in that grouping. That was the position in the past. It's currently the position in the city of Tswane, where the DA is the larger party within that grouping, and everybody accepted that they should have the position of mayor, but all the other positions and are negotiated and agreed to, to, to accommodate all the parties. When the DA was still part of the multi-party coalition in Johannesburg, we all accepted that they had the mayor, and that wasn't Popo Nazi. Yeah. 
When that coalition basically collapsed, there's now a new grouping coming together where Action SA is the biggest party. And that is why that grouping agreed that the mayor should come from Action SA. And that was why uh, Funzin Kubeni was identified to be the mayoral candidate yesterday. Uh, we did not get the opportunity to vote. We didn't know how it would play out because what happened yesterday would have been the DA did nominate her, their candidate. We would have nominated a different candidate and the ANC somebody else. That would cause what a runoff kind of election where in the first round somebody will be eliminated and then we'll go to a second round unless the ANC has got a clear majority in the first round. But we didn't go through that process yesterday. And the question that one should ask is, is it worthwhile to perhaps succeed in the first round but you can't go beyond that because you can't get the parties together to form a majority. It's no use to succeed in the first round. And then the other votes that you need, be that on either side, that abstains in the vote and you won't have the numbers. Sure. So what's the outcome going to be? You, I mean, is there is things going on behind the scenes that's actually said, let's let's all you know pull in the same direction? Because it seems the DA was, is never keen to work with the BA or even Action SA at times. Yes, yes. Um, there are things happening behind the scenes. Um, I've been involved in these negotiations right from the beginning of November 2021. I've been in negotiations and interacting with some individuals and some leaders and parties today. Um, uh, we will have a meeting tonight of our group, if I put it that way, the new group that came together. Without the DA, that meeting will take place tonight. And we will have to discuss the latest possible developments and see what we do with that. If the parties are accepting that kind of whatever may come out of there and there, there is a possibility that we can put the majority together, I believe the parties will be prepared to do that because in the end, what we want to achieve is to take charge of uh, Johannesburg and kick the ANC and the EFF out. The important thing in this whole process is, and that was what the electorate clearly said to us, we are not going to empower any single party to govern. We will force you to co-govern in coalition governments. And it's a, it's a mature thing for parties to do, but parties need to get beyond themselves and to say, well, um, on my own, I can achieve nothing. But to become part of a bigger whole, while you keep your identity as a political party with your own whatever is important for you, the, the combination of the, of the whole will be big, bigger and better than the individual parties. And slowly but surely we are realizing that. And, and, and political parties across the spectrum should take note of the reaction of the public. The public is getting very frustrated and very irritable about what's happening. What they want is they want people to stand together, to work together, to bring hope and change regime change in South Africa for next year, 2024. But it starts now. It starts in the metros. It starts in the councils immediately where we can do that. There's no reason why we should not try to do that. You've also mentioned that, you know, this would be interesting to see how it pans out, to see how you guys could work together should the ANG not have a majority in 2024. Um, yes. Does it bode well for it? Because it seems a bit quite chaotic. How would they, how would you eventually you know pull together to form a proper coalition against the ANC on our national level? Mm. The, the fact is what what I believe what what needs to be done, and I've I've initiated that. It's it's it's, it's a vision, and it's my view that that's the only way to do that. We will not succeed in removing the ANC in 2024 if we just rearrange the current opposition votes amongst the different opposition parties. Currently, the opposition parties combined, let's say, will have approximately 35 to 37 percent of the vote. It's no use just to shift that number of votes between the parties in an election. We won't achieve anything. What we need to achieve, we need to push the ANC and the EFF below 50 percent. And we can only do that if we find a further 10, 12 to 15 percent support that currently is not there within the current opposition pool of votes. And that needs to come from two sources as far as I'm concerned. The one source would be young people between 18 and let's say 30 who have not opted into the system, who have not registered, who are not participating. And then indications are also there that there's approximately one third of ANC supporters, people who voted for the ANC in the past, but they are not happy with the ANC at the moment, and people that to a certain extent share some basic values that will find accommodation in the Moonshot Pact. Those two groupings can take us as a co collective beyond 50% and we can take the ANC out. And in order to achieve that, there are two things that need to happen. The first one is the Moonshot Pact idea, which will bring order and stability within the political parties in that situation. But that alone won't suffice. And I've said in the past, and uh, we are working on that, I said what we need is a new UDF in South Africa. 
we need a broad civic movement, one of the coalition partners, because the political parties in the Moonshot Pact should also subscribe to this broad church UDF idea, and there will be 10 to 15 broad principles, principles that basically spells out best international practice for a successful country. So that the parties that subscribe to that, that the people within the broad church movement knows, I can vote for any one of those parties of my choice, but I full well know that that party will take my vote into a coalition government after the election. And that is the only way that you can do that. I sometimes use the example, I, I like to go to movies, but I don't find time. If you see a thriller movie, or some movie with some bad creature from outer space, and nothing can stop that, then there sometimes in a movie is a, some magic thing that can bring this to an end, a silver bullet or a magic potion. And in the political sphere, the magic bullet or the magic potion that can stop the ANC, that magic thing is coalitions. That is coalition. That's the only way that you can remove the ANC and the EFF from power. So what about a coalition with the ANC? Would the Freedom Front Plus be prepared to do that? No, no. And I think parties should be very clear before the election to state where they stand. I don't want people to think that they vote for a political party because they support you and for what you stand for, only to find after the election that you have now misused my vote to keep the ANC in power. The ANC in 30 more than 30 years of government has, con has convinced me that they really don't have anything to bring to the table. And people must also understand, the ANC of today is not the ANC of 1994. In 94, when Mr. Mandela was still there, the ANC brought the A-team into the process. The A-team left. The B-team came and gone. We are now busy with the G or the H-team. There's no, there's nothing. The ANC must go. They've got nothing to contribute. Okay, so just, just to summarize at the end, you're confident you're going to form that majority that you need to take over Johannesburg and elect a mayor that you support. I, I honestly believe that. I think there are positive things happening as we speak. And I really believe that we will be able to pull things together before Friday morning, 10 o'clock. Um, there are always lots and lots of permutations and things that can go, still go wrong. But I really believe there's a way forward and there is a path. And I think we can achieve that. But time will tell and we won't know until the last vote is counted on Friday morning. So you can't tell me which which mayor you think is going to be in the, in the seat, the chair? I believe that if we succeed, it will either be a person from the Democratic Alliance or from Action SA. Okay. Thank you, Kurnay Mulder from Freedom Front Plus. Thanks for speaking to us. Thank you very much. This is a pleasure.